Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus the Tribble. Uh, you may have noticed if you use the Chrome web browser that every now and then uh, you're just minding your own business and all of a sudden your uh, CPU cycles, they shoot to 100%, uh, your computer slows to a crawl, and you can't do anything. And if you look in the task manager, you'll see that apparently Chrome is what's eating up all the processing horsepower on your computer. So the reason for this is something called the Software Reporter Tool. Now, if you look on Google to try and find out what the heck is this Software Reporter Tool, you will find two things. The first thing you'll find is Google's official explanation, which is that this is a piece of software that essentially scans your computer, supposedly to detect uh, incompatible add-ons and things that might break Chrome, right? The question is then, why is a 13.4 megabyte executable program required to scan? And furthermore, uh, it brings us to point two, the other thing you'll find, which is uh, you'll find a lot of people complaining about the software reporter tool. And what they're saying is that, okay, it's not just scanning my add-ons, obviously, because I used some other software and I detected that it was actually scanning my e-games directory. Uh, essentially, it appears to be scanning your entire computer. So, of course, Google says, oh no, the software reporter tool is just there to uh, prevent Chrome from, you know, getting bogged down and crappy due to add-ons, but uh, our sort of collective experience of the software reporter tool is that it's essentially a piece of software that Chrome downloads sent by Google to scan your entire computer and send the results back to Google. That appears to be what's happening, which is why you will also find online a whole lot of people on Google support forums, uh, on their support pages, saying uh, they are very happy. They use extremely colorful language. Um, they say not very nice things to Google. And they're always asking, how can I turn this darn thing off? So I'm going to show you uh, how to turn it off. So here we can see some of the uh, complaints on uh, support.google.com. You can see upvote 350. Uh, here's another one. Why do I have four software reporting tools running using up to 40% of my CPU? Upvote 687. People asking, what is this thing? Why is it using all my resources? They're obviously not happy. And invariably what happens is you get these, uh, these pages, uh, these questions posted, and Google sort of just kind of usually... Here we actually got a response from a gold product expert, but... Most of the time, there are a lot of these, and most of the time, uh, there is no real response from Google. Eventually, the thread, so to speak, is just locked, and they just sort of quietly go about their business. So, okay, the question is, how do we turn this darn thing off? Well, I'm actually here in Chrome, and uh, what you're going to do to turn it off is go up to the three little dots and open Settings. Now, what you want to do is click Advanced on the left and then go to Reset and Clean Up. And here you have this thing that says Clean Up Computer. So you click that, and now here, I've actually already run it before. What may happen is it will just simply start running automatically. Uh, it shouldn't take that long. When it's done running, if it does run, uh, you'll be presented with uh, this little checkbox, and it says, Report details to Google about harmful software system settings and processes that were found on your computer during this cleanup. What you're going to do is simply uncheck that box. And that's it. You're pretty much done. Now, there's one more step to do, but as long as we're here in the settings, let's take a look at some of the other stuff you may want to turn off to maximize your privacy if you're using Chrome. If you click over here on you and Google, you see this sync and Google services, you can click that and notice here I have allow Chrome sign in turned off. And it says by turning this off, you can sign into Google sites like Gmail without signing into Chrome. You may have noticed that anytime you sign into a Google site up here, you start seeing your little Google avatar showing. Now, the reason for that is because uh, by default, Google gets you to sign in with your Google account, and that means that all your browsing is linked with your Google account as opposed to just an individual website running in a tab. So I turn that off. Uh, I also turn off autocomplete searches and URLs, uh, help improve features and performance, browse. I, I turn off all these things. There's, they're just not really needed. Another thing you may want to turn off is this autofill stuff. Like if you click on passwords, it offers to save your passwords. Uh, I use KeyPass to store my passwords, so I just turn all this auto sign-in and all this stuff off. Uh, you can 
click back and do the same with payments, payment methods and addresses. Um, then finally, you may want to click system and you can, if you want to turn off, continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. I actually leave this one on because I have a progressive web app uh, that I wrote and that I use all the time. And if you turn this off, any progressive web apps you have installed as uh, sort of quote unquote dedicated apps on your desktop, when you run those, they, they won't run in the background unless Chrome is actually open. So if you are using PWAs, leave this on. Otherwise, you can probably just safely turn it off. Okay, now there's one more thing that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to open File Explorer down here and you're going to go to your C drive and you're going to go to users. Now you need to click the view tab up here and make sure hidden items is checked so you can see hidden items. You're going to go into your user folder. Mine is called Scott. Uh, then you're going to click on the hidden folder app data, then local. Then you find Google where there you are, Google and then Chrome <laughs> and then user data. And then you want to scroll down and you want to find SW Reporter. Now in this folder, you may have uh, different version numbers here or multiple versions. Each one of these contains the software reporter tool executable. And if you actually run this, you'll, you'll see Google in the task manager. Let's see if I can show you that real quick. Why is my delete key not working? There we go, task manager. Uh, you can See, you'll have Google Chrome. This, this uh, software reporter tool will actually be running underneath Google Chrome here. At the moment, it's not running, and that tells you that it's not the Google Chrome browser eating up all your CPU cycles. It's the software reporter tool. In any case, there are all kinds of things on the internet about how, oh, you can just right-click and do security and blah, 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 blah. But the bottom line is that the minute an update for Chrome comes out, they're going to just overwrite this. So after I turned it off in the settings, what I do is just right click and say, delete. There you go. Now it can't run at all, at least until the next update. If you want to uh, actually make sure that it doesn't come back, you can click your little folder up here. That gives you your path. See user Scott app data, local Google Chrome, user data, SW reporter, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can actually come to Let's go, let's go up a directory, actually. Doot, doot. And you can just click on the folder here and drag it to your desktop, which will create a desktop link. And then you can just open that folder, like, say, once a month. And if you see the software reporter tool there, just click it and delete it. Uh, do that every time Chrome updates. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, but then uh, you, are, you are assured that it's not ever going to run. And in fact, if you do try to run it inside Chrome, it will simply give you an error message and nothing bad will happen. Whew. Okay, so there you go. Uh, it's a little bit complicated and it's kind of annoying to have to go back and repeatedly delete the tool. As far as I can tell, if you turn off that little checkbox, uh, it will stop scanning your computer. I've done it on three different computers. They're all super happy. No more bogging down, no more software reporter tool eating up 100% of the CPU, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, it's worth noting here that the software reporter tool has been around for a very long time. Chrome was released, I believe, in 2008. Uh, there are complaints on the internet dating back to 2015, and at that point we were on version 4 dot something of the software reporter tool. So it may have been that this thing did start off, uh, you know, kind of checking um, in the, uh, you know, just for, for incompatible add-ons and that sort of thing. Uh, because apparently in the olden days, this software reporter tool was 56 kilobytes in size, and today, as I mentioned earlier, it's 13.4 megabytes. So probably definitely something you want to turn off and um, probably check the folder every now and then, delete it, and yeah, then you'll have a little bit of extra privacy and you still get to use the Chrome web browser, which quite frankly is the best web browser for a reason. It's very low, very has very low memory usage. Uh, it's extremely fast. It has probably the best JavaScript engine. It's a performant browser. It's lean. It's mean. It really is a good browser. So, except for this little software tool. But, well, now you can turn it off. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Also, check out my blog, scottystech.info, and click on Hire Me. If you're having a problem that you can't quite solve, I actually have uh, three different tiers of service, the first of which is free. You simply fill out the form below, uh, you tell me what your problem is, and if I can fix it, which I usually can with an email, uh, I will write back to you as soon as possible and hopefully get you sorted out. So 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.